What's going on guys? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about places with the best views and some of the most photographed places in the Winston-Salem area. Let's get into the video. My name is Ramon Lomelli. I'm a local realtor and the team leader of the Smart Move Group brokered by eXp Realty. We're located here in the Winston-Salem area. However, we've got connections all over the state. And if you're new to Winston-Salem or maybe you're a Winston-Salem local and you're looking for some, some of the most beautiful places, some scenic places, places to take pictures at or places to take pictures of, then you're gonna to wanna to watch this video because that's just what we're going to talk about today. The cool thing is that I've personally been to all of these, so I can personally vouch for 100% of these, and they are all breathtaking in their own way. Up first, we're going to talk about the Pilot Mountain Overlook. Pilot Mountain is only about 35 miles away from Winston-Salem. I mean, honestly, depending on what part of Winston-Salem you're at, you can be there in about 30 minutes, and it's a beautiful state park. It's over 3,800 acres, and it offers a range of uh, recreational sports to do there, whether it's biking, kayaking, fishing, mountain biking, all kinds of fun outdoorsy type stuff to do there. But certainly, one of the biggest things it's known for are its stunning views of the Piedmont Triad area. Not only that, but this time of year specifically, it gets even prettier because of course you've got the fall leaves, the uh, oranges and browns and golds and beautiful colors that are, uh, you know, falling down all around you. And it just becomes a very pretty drive up there. And when you're up there, it's even more beautiful. The great thing though, it's a free park to get in. It's free to park, obviously. Uh, and there are so many beautiful uh, spots throughout the entire Pilot Mountain to stop and take pictures or to just enjoy the scenery. But definitely, like I mentioned before, fall, the autumn, this is the best time to go up there. So we might even make it up there this year still. Something else that you're not gonna wanna miss is gonna be the rooftops in downtown Winston-Salem. Now, don't get me wrong, they're not gonna be the tallest skyscrapers you've ever been on top of. They're definitely, you know, they're good-sized buildings, but they're not New York City. But there are various rooftops and parking decks that you can get on top of and just enjoy what the city looks like, especially at night. I recommend doing this at night so you can see what, what's going on, where all the city, where all, everything is popping, where everything is kind of growing, where the liveliness is. And there's even a couple of parking decks that are kind of notorious for people to take pictures at, uh, whether it's, you know, uh, just professional pictures or family pictures, Christmas pictures, because you get beautiful views of the buildings in downtown Winston-Salem, especially like right at dusk when there's still light out, but the lights are already on in the buildings. Uh, so you don't be surprised if you get up there, there's people taking pictures, uh, engagement shots, you know, family pictures, Christmas pictures, all kinds of stuff. And there's a few different places that you could actually go and enjoy the rooftop, like Roar is one of them. The Mayfair Club, the Mayfair Club is actually located on the top story of Roar, which is a used to be a food hall. They do a lot of like gaming stuff. They do restaurants. They do all kinds of stuff in there as well. But it's definitely uh, uh, worth a visit, especially if you're going to go to the rooftop and enjoy a view of the city. I've been to Barpina a few times in the past as well. Love that place. Great drink, especially if you can get up to that rooftop and enjoy a view of the city as well, especially at that dusk or nighttime. Uh, very nice drinks, expensive drinks, but very nice drinks up there as well. Probably the most commonly photographed place inside of Winston-Salem is going to be this next one, which is going to be Old Salem. It's a Moravian settlement that dates back to the 1700s. We've been there many times. Sometimes there's nothing else to do would just go to Old Salem and walk around because it's so pretty you often get to see people walk around in you know the 1700s appropriate clothing you get to see people living life the way they lived in the 1700s there's also a college next door so it's very and there's a coffee shop and restaurants there and you know cookies uh, dessert stores and stuff so it's a lot going on so sometimes you walk around look at these buildings from 300 years ago and you get to walk right through them, walk around them and enjoy the scenery. There's also a historic bridge that connects the actual museum from the Living History Museum um, that is beautiful and it's kind of in the style of the way Moravians built things. Uh, there's a huge Moravian star in the center of it so a lot of people take pictures there as well. But yeah, there are so many different colors and textures and backgrounds. So if you're a photographer or you just like to, to practice or maybe you just wanna take some cool Instagram pictures, uh, definitely worth checking out Old Salem. This next one I almost don't want to tell you guys about because I don't want it to get too overpopulated or overcrowded rather, uh, but I'm going to tell you guys anyway. Um, before we get into it though, I do want to remind you that if you have any questions, comments, concerns, number on the screen, that's my cell phone number, it goes to no one else but me. I wouldn't be a good YouTuber if I didn't tell you to hit that like button, leave me a comment, but above all, and I really mean this, hit that subscribe button because it really does help me stay motivated, keep pumping out these videos for you, and it helps other people find the channel. I'm going to leave all my contact information below in case you have any questions about the area, as well as all of my social media handles just in case you want to be my friend one of the reasons you might want to be my friend on social media is simply because i tend to uh, document a lot of things going on in the winston salem area so if you're looking for restaurant reviews things to do the dixie classic fair the carolina classic fair i should say um, anything at all feel free to uh, follow me on there you'll see all kinds of pictures and videos number four on today's list is going to be quarry park quarry park is super cool for photography for relaxation to take the kids 
They have concerts out there. Sometimes they have vendors. They have food trucks going out there as well sometimes. Lots going on inside of Cory Park. Walking trails, beautiful views. But the biggest thing, the biggest attraction, I would say, in Cory Park is this overlooked bridge because essentially the reason it's called Cory Park is because there's this massive quarry that used to be a functioning quarry where they uh, mined resources out of it and essentially left a big crater in the earth and eventually it was donated to the city. They made this beautiful park because it rained and water filled up the quarry and it has this really cool rich blue color that I haven't quite seen like before. So you can go into overlook and kind of look down right into the middle of the quarry, which is a little intimidating sometimes depending on, <laughs> on who you are. But also if you look straight ahead, you see downtown Winston-Salem, uh, which is really cool. So if you can go out there in the evening when the lights are on, once again, it's really pretty. Um, you can get a lot of really cool perspective shots uh, from the bridge because it's kind of a, a bridge that uh, more of a pier because it's over the water but at the end of the in the distance you see downtown wind salem so it's really really cool for that it's also great for fishing and there's a lot of trails around there so some people like to just walk around the trails where you're the quarry is essentially the focal point of the trail um there's you know if you're if you have kids there's a playground uh re recently renovated playground as well there's a like a stage as well out there where they have events sometimes so really cool stuff definitely check out quarry park you'll find a bunch of cool picture opportunities if you're in the area up next we're gonna talk about salem lake one of the cool things about salem lake is that it's minutes from downtown winston salem which is really cool that contrast of like being with all the cool hipster new modern things to do in downtown and then you take five minute drive and you're in Salem Lake which is you know nature trails uh, you know a lot of wildlife out there fishing boating things of that nature they have a lot of amenities they have a pier you can rent boats you can get your fishing license there I mean you can even get married there it's so pretty it's so beautiful they've got designated areas for picnics and they've got spots that you can rent that are more private but definitely 100% worth the trip if you want to go to take some beautiful spots. They have a really cool kind of modern uh, gazebo thing there where you can take pictures from there. Uh, also, you know, pictures off the pier, pictures in front of the water, pictures on the trails, uh, lots of cool stuff to do there. Last but not least, we're gonna talk about the Grayland Estate. It's off of Ronaldo Road, a very affluent area in Winston-Salem and essentially the best way I could describe it, it's a mini castle. It's, it's a castle in Winston-Salem and it's beautiful and picturesque. It was built in 19 32. It's the second largest estate home in all of North Carolina. 60 rooms, 46,000 square feet. You've got beautiful rolling hills. You've got tons of uh, additional dwelling buildings around it. You've got the lake. Uh, you always see people walking and jogging and having conversations and having picnics and just enjoying the scenery out there because it's beautiful. Once you drive in there from a busy road, it feels like you just stepped into like I don't know, a quiet um, 1800s castle area. It's, it's really odd, you gotta, you'll see what I'm talking about when you go. It actually functions as a hotel. It's a popular wedding destination as well. They hold, hold all kinds of events throughout the year there. They do have a photography policy there. So if you're bringing out like a professional camera, they might want to stop you there. But if you're just pulling out your phone, it shouldn't be a problem. But they've got ponds, bridges, little lake there. Um, and just being there is just beautiful too. Like the seeing the, uh, the mini castle, like I called it, uh, it's beautiful. And uh, it's definitely unique to go see, take a picture with it and check it out. Do me a favor guys, let me know if there's any kind of content you're wanting to check out. I feel like I've covered everything about Winston Salem, I'm running out of ideas, so I definitely need you to hit that comment section and let me know what I should do a video about next. Hope you enjoy the new backdrop. Hope you guys enjoy the constantly changing backdrops. I try to keep it fresh for you guys. If you're thinking about moving to the area or currently in the area and need some help with some real estate stuff, feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text. That is my day job. That is what I've been doing for over a decade here. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in next week's video.